Howdy everybody, Big Fat Plus here, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Planescape Torment. Blast left off. <sighs> Mibeth has run a shite ton of errands for her ass. All for the chance to learn magic. Mibeth is tugging at the mass of greenish lime starch rags you brought from Griscoll. Seems to be purposely fraying the edges. As if to peel them apart somehow. When she hears your approach, she turns. Hey, child. Um. Here's that ink you wanted. Maybe it takes the tangled of ink from you. Then sniffs at it. Prime ink. Fresh it is, eh? She nods at you. You done well, child. All I ask. Now I ask you again. After all you see, do you still want to learn the art? Yes, after all the guiding... After all, the guiding goal of your aunt was to test my persistence. Was it not? Was it not? Bevis smiles and nods. Yes. Mayhap, job. Mayhap. And that's not all. You knew you knew who I had to see to accomplish each errand, didn't you? Bevis nods again, showing it's slower this time. Mayhap, job. Mayhap. If and so, did your senses did your senses tell you about them? Moisture trees show me that my beliefs affect the world around me. Grisco taught me that ritual is a wasted effort if the purpose of the ritual is ignored. Miriam taught me that no matter how much I think I know, there's still much I can learn from another's eyes. Maybe it's silent for a moment, then she walks slowly over to you and touches you on the cheek. Oh, child, she says. You will be a master sorcerer one day, you will. You have the knowing of it, yet you've come to old Mebeth for, you, for help, you have. What could a midwife teach such a one? Much, Mabeth. I want to learn all you have to teach. Except those special moves. I need... So you walk the path, then. Mabeth pauses. Well, first things firstly. Just having a knack for the art isn't enough. You need some means of giving it focus. Usually spells. Spells are usually in a book. So the art demands you have a spell book, or it's like a four you cast spells. Can you read? Um... The fuck? My freaking desk is making noises and shit, and of course it's falling apart, so. <laughs> <sighs> Might as well change position. It's probably a damn screw popped up, too. I wouldn't be freaking surprised. Damn thing's a piece of shit. Anyway! Yes, I can read. And let's test it. Can you read this? Mebeth draws forth a small tattered card. It looks like a recipe. Examine the recipe. The writing on the recipe swims before your eyes. Eight symbol twisting out of focus whenever you try to read it. Almost instinctively, you relax your eyes, allowing them to take in the page all at once. And the symbols suddenly bleed together. The recipe lists measurements, ingredients. Appears to be sort of minor divination. This is a minor divination, isn't it? Looks like there's a spell that allows the user to see the nature of an item. See whether it's enchanted or not. Mebus eyes wide. Who are you to stole Mebus so? Are you some kind of fiend? Uh, what, what, what's wrong? Updated my journal. Well, not expecting it, was I? She nods at the recipe, then plucks it out of your hand. What you see, it's written in the language of the art. If you're not a mageling yet, it should be all swirl, jumble, and mishmash. She snaps a finger. Yet, yeah, there's Crystal, you plucked the sense of it right up. May mayhap you tell old Mebeth why that is. Uh, I don't really... Let's see, which one? I think I may have known once, but forgot. Seeing the symbols just jarred my memory. Oh, yes, yeah, a natural gift you may have. No matter, no matter. You just shave seasons off your learning, do you have? Mebeth harums. And I've been looking for someone to handle the chores around here. I had... If you need help with anything around here, you can still ask the least I can do for exchange for teaching me. No, no, don't worry yourself about that, she frowns. Well, you can read spells well enough, but spells are no good to you without a book to put them on. Yeah, do you have one? Maybe it's glances around the hut, and then she catches sight of the black bar picture frame you made. She picks it up carefully and says, This will do. That thing is just a frame. Ah, but so are you, child. 
Still holding the frame, she picks up one of the dark strikes she got from Griscoll. With a yank, she pulls off the greenest dark surface film. It flutters in the air like a wispy bit of cloth. Whatever Griscoll uses in the wash, it works better than care and stretching and stone does on a normal rack. Can't afford parchment, I can't... It, parchment? She takes starchy film and pulls it over the black barb frame, latching, latching the rag's edges onto the hooks around the frame until it looks like a small greenish black painter's canvas. It's missing something. It will need something painted on it. She nods. I or written on it. She takes the tanker to thank you, giving her, and sets it down next to her. She shifts one of her fingernails on the tanker, then draws it out, mumbling to herself. She begins to stretch symbols under the frame, one by one, still mumbling herself. And it's wait. All's done. Bevis stands drying her ink stink fingernail on the, on the rope. She tilts her head, regarding the strange frame. Page of fiber. A page for your spell book, it is. She indicates you should pick it up. I'll take it. Inside your spell book are your recipes, your spells, if you will. As long as they sit in the book, no, they're just words. She taps her head. The art demands you pluck the magic out of the book and put them in your attic, your head, before you can tap the power. It go on. You put them in your attic by studying them, memorizing them. You usually need the rest before you can do this, though. Any questions? Um, no. Oh, no questions, eh? Well, now you should have questions. You know all about how to memorize spells, do you? You're a sharp one. You sure don't need any more memorize words all gobbling up your precious time. You're a master sorcerer already. Uh, forgive me, Mavis. I meant no questions on what you said. Please explain on how to memorize spells. <laughs> Alright then. Here's a doctor how you memorize the spells. Pick spells you want sticking your head from the spell book before you go to sleep. When you wake up in the morning, they'll be buzzing your head like flies, ready to be let out. Uh, how many can I cast? You can only cast one. May have two spells before needing to rest again. As a tiny flittering mageling, there isn't much room for your in your attic. So you've used your spells wisely until you get wiser in the art. As your power increases, you get more room in your attic for spells. Alright, go on. You can only cast spells you memorize, so if you want to use the arts to say, mend something twice, you need to memorize the spell how many times? Yup, twice. Mebs nods. Aye, twice. Right enough. Well, how can Updated I get more spells? my journal. Mebs shrugs. Keep your eyes and ears out for learning. Even common folks might have some minor magic to teach. There's also scrolls, recipes, books, and even some strange rhymes that have spells inscribed on them. If you find one, just examine it close and copy it to your book if you want. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I can also show you more spells if you turn, especially when you're a little more older planes than you. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Before you go, child, you need some magics for you to whet your appetite. Mabeth rummages in her robe and pulls out for three small recipes, which she passes to you. You should copy these in your book so they can go into your attic as soon as possible. Thanks. I couldn't carry any more, so I had to drop it. Wait, there's more. Mabeth fishes a tie bundle of black cloth from her apron and rolls up, producing a pair of amber earrings. These go... These will protect you on your travels, child. I no longer wear them myself, so go ahead and take them. Thanks. I couldn't carry any more, so I had to drop it. Good lord, I got a ton of shit. <laughs> Alright, child, don't tarry here any longer. One such as she has other ways to spend one's time rather than hanging around old Mebeth. Now, come on, Mebeth, you're not that old. Pie, you flatterer. Your tongue is so lying with silver, you shame a bathroom. Get your hands. Thanks for everything. You can thank me by not playing that or cove with what I learned. Thou it's damned many a fool sought to bend in the ways they aren't where meant to bend. Now get along with you. I am no I feel stronger. Zerthamon, I have become stronger. Oh, you, okay, so everyone's become stronger. So, let's see. I am now a mage. So, of course, we shall level up in magic now. <laughs> we only get one helpful. Eh, okay. And, let's see. And he's level up. He's gained three hit points. And spell memorization abilities have increased. That's always good. So now let's go into our inventory. Inventory. Thank you. 
Oh, okay, we can't carry. We can't carry for shit now. Because, <laughs> um, no, we have that we can use. And let's see here. What's this? Mages guard. Use one of my mages. There we go. Now we can use that. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> and let's see here. And we're we'll going to put that back in there. No, not that. You we need that. And, well, since we're... Here, here just do what you... Take these for a second. Okay, now I need you to hand these back to me. Because I can learn these now. Let's see. Co scroll strength. Copy. Uh, scroll of chromatic orb. Chromatic orb. Hell of a spell in any D and D game. Scroll of ice knife. Hmm. <coughs> scroll of fist of iron. What's this one do? Huh? Punches. That'd be a spell I wouldn't know right off as a mage. <laughs> I mean, come on. You mean. I can't use the left arm. That's messed up. I would love to. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, that guy go, go. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know why I keep it straight hands diary. Okay, now let's pick up all that extra crap that she uh, right. dropped that we couldn't. Rat charm, recipe, 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 and recipe. Let's see, dirty rat charm, you dirty rat, I have you hold on to those because I can't use them. Okay, let's see. Chromatic orb. Oh. Where you have it? Identify! That will be needy. Blood bridge. Ooh, what's this one? Tag cards, recipe for the ingredients, and that's cast through to share a portion of his life with others. We can even ooh, that could be useful if he especially if he becomes a fighter. And do you have no crab back work? Aha! Now Mr. Mr. Decon can do it. Ha ha ha. Let's see here. Now let's go ahead and mess with our spell book for a minute. And we can only cast two spells, so let's see here. Um, since we'll be relying on Dakan and Morte, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and um, do that one, and Chromatic Orb. You ain't gonna beat that. Oh, and he can do two more spells. Armor, and... Yeah, a scripture of steel would probably be better for him. Now we really need to go take a rest. So that way we can go and have those ready. Now the game also recommends we go get a tattoo of Will. Because... Hey, we're being watched, Chief. Just look natural. Uh, casual. I'm sorry, that ain't gonna be possible there, Mort. Now, let's go get, like I said, let's go get a, um, tattoo, which means we have to go back. Lots of running. Alright, now we're here, we have to buy a tattoo of the soul. 1,200. But, in this, in this respect, it's far worth it, considering what we'll gain. Now, let's see if I can see. What do I have? Tattoos of action, which is just on dexterity. And razor, because protection from e Razor angel, protection from a evil. So we'll just switch that one. We'll put that back down, which gives us... 18 to wisdom. Now, let me save really quick in case I fudge. Of course, it won't matter if I fudge. And now, this is where we'll have an interlude.
interlude? How do I do an interlude? With I forgot how to. Okay, never mind. I had a dumbass moment because I was trying to figure out how to talk to Dakon. And Mister Dakon turns his eyes to you with like harsh claws. Blade mirror his blade mirrors his eyes for a moment. Suggests it, then he nods. What is your will? There are things I would know. Dakon. I will hear you. Talk to him about the art. Let's see, where the hell is that? Oh, I guess I gotta ask him about the... Said I gave you the Circles Earthmon? Yes, in knowing its words, I knew myself. Very well. Uh, there are other things I would like to know. Uh... Okay, which one do I... Okay, I talked to you about your teachings. Ah! Can you teach me anything about the art, Dakon? No, that the way of the people is not the same as the art you have come to know. It is not the energy that gives strength, it is knowing the self that gives strength. The teachings of Zarithamon speak of such things. Would you teach me the way of Zarithamon, Dakon? Do you know what you have asked? Each, the texture of the Khan's blade flows until it becomes a stone. To walk the path of Zarithabon, you must know of the people. The knowing of such things by one not of the people is a difficult matter. There are those not of the people who have heard the way of Zarithabon, but you do not know the way. Okay, Dakar, I want to know of the people and know Zarithabon's teachings. I believe there is wisdom they learn and such things. Updated my journal. Know that I have heard your words, and I shall test them. To learn, you must know the people. To know the people, you must know the unbroken circle of Zarithamon. Sakan holds up the stone disc in his possession, and his spider-like fingers hook into its sides. There is a click, and the plates of the circle slide into a new configuration. He reverses the motion, sealing the stone. No, the first circle of Zarithamon is open to you. Study it, and I will hear your words. I will read the first circle then. In the meantime, I okay. Very well, I'll examine it and then speak with you. Okay, um uh, Okay, now I can use it. Small round sounds is circles, circles unbroken circles. The rest now is made of series of unlocked circles, full off more another is complexity of the plates and the entity of the links prove the text which is structured by a master artist. Unlock the first plate as the con showed you. You mirror the motions the Khan made upon the circle. The plates give way at your touch. The rings sliding to a new configuration. Upon the rings are a series of symbols. The script is like no writing you've ever seen. It is a series of interlocking ge geometries with circle circles predominating. Just looking at it, you know symbols and know you can read them. Read the first circle. Know that we are the first people. Okay, continue reading. Once all was chaos, the first people were thought drawn from chaos. When the first people came to know themselves, they were chaos no longer and became flesh. Yeah, continue reading. With their thoughts and knowing of matter, the people shaped the first world and dwelled there. Dwelled there with their knowing to sustain. And you're reading. Yet the flesh was new to the people, and with it the people came not to know themselves. The flesh gave rise to new thoughts. Greed and hates, pain and some joys, jealousies and doubts. All these fed on each other, and the minds of the people were divided. In their division, the people were punished. Continue reading. The emotions of the flesh were strong. The greed and hates, the pains and joys, the jealousies and doubts, all of these served as a guiding stone to enemies. In becoming flesh, the first people became enslaved to those who New flesh only as tools for their will. No, these beasts were the Ilthids. Uh, keep reading. The Ilthids were a race that had come not to know themselves. They had learned how to make other races not know themselves. Keep reading. How much is there to read? <sighs> there were the tentacle ones. They lived in flesh and saw flesh as tools for their will. Their blood was as water, and they shaped minds with their thoughts. When the Ilthids came upon the people, the people were people no more. The people became slaves. 
The Elphids took the people from the First World and brought them to the False Worlds. As the people labored upon the False Worlds, the Elphids taught them the way of the flesh. Through them, the people came to no loss. They came to no suffering. They came to no death, both of the body and mind. They came to know what it is to be hurt of another and have their flesh consumed. They came to know the horror of being made to feel joy and such things. Finish reading the circle, finally. The unbroken circle is the knowing of how the people lost themselves, how they came to know themselves again. Slide the plates closed and seal it. And let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Now we talk to him again. Done. Or not. No, 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 no. And I had just done it. Now I can't friggin' figure out how I... Alright. How did I talk to... <gasps> oh, my God. I'm so stupid, I tell you. What is your will? Okay, there's things I would know. Okay, I have read the Unbroken Circles. Earthman, I'll speak to you more about the way. What did you come to know? Okay, I have to remember to learn the right lesson. Uh... Okay, the only one I know, I think, would probably be the first one. Strength is the, it lies in knowing oneself. I learned that one. Learn that once someone does not know themselves, they are lost, they become tool for Updated others. My journal. Ah, I got it right! You have come to know the first circle of Zerithamon. You not only see the worlds of Zerithamon, you have come to know them. The Khan holds up the circle and hooks his fingers around the edges. There is a click, and the plates slide to a new configuration. Reverse the motion, sealing the stone. No, the second circle of Zerithamon is open. You study it, and then we'll hear your words. Okay, yes, but we'll do that another time, because... Uh, we got more. It's like third circle. Uh, let's see. You have to actually have 19 wisdom to understand the seventh circle. So we'll be doing a lot of circle searching here. Oh boy, I'll tell you what. So, let me go ahead and save this real quick here after that. So, how many circles are we going to have to learn? Because there's a lot of experience to be involved in. Um, uh, doing this, which, you know, we won't be finishing it right away, because, yeah. So, let me just mark this here. Let's see here. Hmm. I think I'll keep with being a mage for a while. And, um, I think we're gonna go finally go off and fucking find Farad. Or we gotta find his dumb ass, and how long is this video gonna take? But until next time on the Big Man Plays, Planescape Torment. To last, Big Fatty Plus, Sayonara. And, once again, we had to know things about people. Because if you know things, then you know how to do things. And all I know is I'm a dumbass. What's the holdup?